Hello everybody, how are you doing? I hope everything is fine. My name is Pepe Cuenca. I'm a Spanish grand batzer and I'm here again with all of you to play in another Batte Blitz session. As you know, I will be trying to play against uh, some of the premium members in Chess24 while I try to commentate on the moves. Please, uh, I see uh, there are a lot of people in the chat, Carl Nearing, Gross Mino, etc. Please let me know that audio and video is fine so we can uh, kick off with the games and uh, trying to learn some chess, uh, hopefully. Uh, sounds good, video is good, uh, my face is shit, but we can start playing some chess, so let's go for this. Uh, yes, for example, I see Zaba, five minute games. Uh, I prefer three or five minute games, so we can play more people. Uh, preferably three minute games, but okay. So let's just start with E4 trying to be aggressive in the first game and he plays uh, G6, the modern, for example, Aronian uh, he played it in the Bundesliga and uh, just uh, two weeks ago or one week ago I don't even know, I was there commentating with Jan but let's just play this bull system, the Debot Binic uh, system with G3, Bishop G2, Knight G E2, for example and yeah, this is uh, kind of, uh, it's not the main line, of course, against the modern but okay, it's just interesting and for rapid games, uh, uh, I really like it. So he goes for the symmetric uh, uh, line. F5, pushing Facundo already, giving a rest man. So D3, and then he will try to go Knight F6 or uh, Knight G7. This is the most common, and then I'll go Short Castle here. And maybe I'll try to do the same with F4 here. Or I could even play H3, followed by Bishop E3, or even Knight D5 looks good. But anyway, yeah, let's just go for knight d5 here in this position, knight takes, c takes e5, knight d4 probably, and then uh, there, are, there are gonna be a lot of exchanges there, and then I'll have to try to create something on the queen side. But then he goes for uh, d6, and now maybe it's a good idea just to put this bishop on g5, so he never can go h6 because of knight takes f6 and then h6. So he goes for knight e7, and then there is a rule in these positions that whenever you can take on f5, and he cannot recapture with the knight, it's, it, it's, it's good to take on f5. Okay, this is, uh, of course, uh, not working in every position, but maybe here. So knight e7, queen takes e7, e takes f5, g takes f5, and then maybe f4. The position here, the, the, the pawn is here on, 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 on c5 in this position. Normally it's on c7. Okay, let's just play rook b1 in, uh, with the idea of going b4 here. And, uh, okay, he takes on uh, uh, d5, and then I'm gonna recapture with my c-pawn, he goes h6. He's playing quite uh, interesting, so after bishop d3, he wants to go g5 here. But anyway, so f4 straight away is not possible, because I, I just take this guy here on f4, it's quite tasty. He has to go for g for g5, and then the position is uh, getting quite... Uh, quite double-edged here, because I'm gonna go f4 and then the position can get open here and this is actually quite uh, quite dangerous for both of us. So g takes uh, f4, g takes f4, then my king normally will go to uh, h1. He's got some nice ideas related with bringing this knight to g6 and h4. So let's see. Let's see, man. So he goes for knight g6. Uh, what should I do now? f takes e5, h takes and then... Uh, he takes f5, should I go for this? Let's just go for this, yeah. Because now f4 I think is not possible, I got too many pieces controlling this square, so I think h takes e5, it's uh, force, and then in the next move he will be uh, hoping to go for f4, so I need to stop that, and this is done by e takes f5, bishop takes f5, and maybe bishop e4 here. I think if I manage to exchange uh, the light square bishops, I will enjoy some beautiful squares, for example on g4, on f5, uh, let's see, let's see guys, what's going on. I normally uh, have a lot of troubles to, to warm up, uh, in the first game, so I end up losing or making a lot of draws against uh, weaker players, but, but let's see how it goes today. I have the same problems in, in classic tournament. By the way, I'm going to Mallorca, hard life in, in, in three days actually, to, to play a, a tournament over there in the beach. Uh, quite hard life for me these days, so bishop e4. So if he takes on e4, d takes e4, this uh, of course uh, uh, improves my structure, but he goes for queen d7. And now I don't know if I can take this guy here on g5. Looks so damn tasty, guys, so I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it. So you give me one opportunity to take a bomb, boom, I'll take it. So, bishop takes e5, now he can go for bishop e4, then d takes e4, he goes for rook f7 there, and uh, trying to double rooks on the f-file, I don't know if that's too dangerous, 
But maybe I can just uh, improve the position of my knight, aiming to go for the e4 square that looks so beautiful and natural, right, for our knights. And then he just uh, double rooks on the f5. I don't know if I can just uh, play queen e2, for example, or queen d2. Queen d2 looks okay. Queen d2 looks okay. He's got some ideas maybe uh, related with bringing a bishop to a3, but I can always take on f7 and then bishop g2 back in order to avoid all these uh, nasty ideas. But for example, just bishop g2 straight away looks natural. I don't want to blunder mating too, so takes everything and I can take with my, with my king or even with my bishop, right? So this shouldn't be a problem. Let's go for this. Bishop g2, as you know, whenever we are material up, uh, it's good to exchange some pieces and now this uh, is e4 squared is bacon for my beautiful corsel here so of course i'm quite happy saying hello as well to uh, all the people in youtube you are very welcome to join our uh, show here in chess 24 i normally pay attention to the chat um uh, in Chess24 only, I will be giving one month uh, premium account today as usual, as you guys know. So uh, just uh, pay attention because uh, I will ask some stupid question as usual. So I'm just going to check with my queen here. Uh, queen to g4. Okay, my idea, my first idea was just to uh, play knight e4 because this defends the, the bishop on g5 and also attacks d6, right? But he's playing quite, quite well and quite fast as well. So still it's nothing decided. I would love to exchange uh, all the rooks in the board. And uh, I want to exchange all the, the rooks in the board and then try to create some sort of troubles uh, against the d6 pawn. Or, of course, in every endgame I should use my I should use sorry my pass pawns on h and the g file, right? This could be a nightmare for him. If we reach some sort of endgame without queens and rooks, it would, this would be my dream, right? And as you guys know, I enjoy a lot all these endgames, so I'm just going to go for this. Why not? Why not? I can even try to exchange a, a pair of rooks uh, more. So maybe he's wanna, he wants to create some sort of counterplay with queen b5. But I can always go queen c2 in case I need it. He goes, whoa, this is a huge mistake, my friend. There is knight f6. Knight f6 coming. Boom. Come with me. So knight f6 is forced to take on f6. And then I can just take with my bishop. Thanks for the game, Zava. And then we keep playing. For example, I see we got here a strong player from Germany. And our score is 5-5, so I should be really careful in this game against uh, Schelling Ford. So let's just try to focus a lot in this game. 2,600 player from Germany. So this looks uh, scary. So let's just play the French E6 here. And uh, D4, D5, we're in the main line, Knight D2. He goes for uh, the Tarash variation. And then I'm gonna go for C5, one of the main lines. E takes E5, Queen takes D5, Knight F3 is the main line. So D takes C5, Bishop takes C5, it's also possible. And now Bishop C4. So uh, uh, at the moment, uh, White has sacrificed a pawn, but actually they were, they're go he's gonna get it back very soon after Short Castle and Knight B3. There is no proper way of defending the D4 pawn. So I'm just gonna play Knight F6. This is whole theory. The endgame is considered to be good for, I mean, uh, harmless for, for black. So now he's threatening to go bishop b5. That's why you normally play a6. And now white uh, plays rookie one normally in the main theory in order to, to start putting some pressure on... Um, on the e6 pawn that actually could be uh, there could be a lot of sacrifices here so i'm just gonna go here for b5 c3 it's not the main move here so maybe i'm trying to go queen c7 and bishop d6 this is what i'm gonna do yeah let's go for uh Queen c7 here, so normally he's gonna retreat his bishop to d3 or b3, and then bishop d6 attacking on h2, and he goes for queen e2, and now it's time to go uh, bishop d6. I'm a little bit scared of this knight a5 ideas, but then I can just take on h2, and then bishop f4. I think this is the, the normal reaction again all against all this uh, knight a5 ideas. So let's see what uh, comes up in this position. 4 minutes, 10 seconds for chilling 4. I got 4 minutes, 20 seconds. So knight a5, he goes for this idea. Then my plan was to take on h2, and then to play bishop f4. Knight takes uh, g7, and then king f8. What's going on in this position? I actually have no clue. Let me just grab this pawn here on h2. And then my first intention was to, to play bishop f4 here. But this is getting extremely double-edged. So I should be very, very careful in all these positions, right? So the thing is, 
Bishop f4, knight g7, king f8, knight h5. I think he cannot go for this because the bishop on c4 is hanging. So let's just go and play bishop f4. Yeah, let's go for this. I have no clue what's going on here. I have to uh, tell you guys, but anyway, <laughs> looks an interesting game. So let's just try to, to play some chess here. Three minutes, 55 seconds for him. I only got three minutes of 42 seconds. It's good, it's more than enough. And uh, people are joining this uh, show. So we got more people in the, in the YouTube and they're asking me YouTube if I'm, if I'm also a patser playing tennis. Well, I used to play tennis, uh, even tournaments, until I was uh, 20 or something, until I was in the second year of my uh, degree at the university. Then I quit and then uh, just focus on chess. Uh, <laughs> Bishop f4, what are you gonna do? Knight g7, and now I'm forced to, t to play king g7, and he can still sacrifice something. Okay, what's going on here? So, so king g7, bishop takes f4, queen c4, and then he's got, uh, for example, uh, hmm, for example, he's got bishop e5, but there is a uh, queen h4, and yeah, this could be quite tricky. I have, I am not sure actually. Then I will try to go h5 and rook h6. Hmm, not that easy, guys. Not that easy. Not that easy. Not that easy. What's going on here? Bishop takes c1. There is uh, okay. I think I'm for. I'm forced to take here. And then this could end bad. Actually, this could end up actually quite bad for me if I'm not. Uh, Carefully not so let's say bishop f4 queen c4 bishop h6 there, but then I think I can just play King g6. <laughs> let's see how all this ends up because uh, this looks quite dangerous for me, but I'm not I'm a piece up, right? So So let's go king f8 here and the thing is if it goes uh, Bishop d6, I, I think it's still got king e8. Yeah uh, Queen h4 wow Wow, I completely miss all this because he's threatening to go um, bishop d6. Wow, this is getting now really, really serious. Serious stuff here. So, wow, I think I've got this knight e4 ideas, but then bishop h6. Wow, this is getting extremely complicated for me. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. So, the threat is bishop d6 or bishop a6 and of course he's uh, threatening to take on f6. What about if I just play knight e4 here, then queen d8, uh, king g7, he's got the perpetual over there. I don't like this. I don't like this. Zo, 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 zo. What about queen d5, queen takes f6 and then the rook g8. Hmm. Very, very complicated. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Knight e4. Let's just try this. Oh man, this looks so bad. He still can do bishop d6 and then queen d8 is a perpetual as well. So let's see what he plays. But this is a crazy position, right? And I have no clue what's going on here. And I'm damn scared here. I'm not late. Uh, and then bishop d7? What about this move here? So given the fact that this, uh, this rook on f1 is, is hanging, so let's just go for this. Let's just try to save the position here. Bishop d7. Now, maybe he could go b3 there, but then this queen can come to e2 as well. So I'm a piece up, but then my, I'm in a little bit of trying trouble. So my queen is hanging all the time in all these variations. So this king can come to e8 as well. So defending this guy on d7. I don't know guys what's going on here. This is a really crazy position and I have no clue uh, what to play. So b3 looks quite, quite uh, unpleasant, but then I can just go to c6, just uh, protecting everything, right? He can never take on d7 because the rook on f1 is hanging. And then I got some ideas related with it's quite difficult to remove this bishop on d7 because then he can join the party over there. So he goes f3 and, uh, well, he goes f3 and this looks so bad, man. This looks so bad. What about if we just start creating some counterplay on the g file? But then I should do something quite fast. I should do something quite fast. Let's just play rook d8. I can never take on, well, I can never take on e4. This was actually a huge mistake. But 
yeah, this is a mistake. I'm almost, I almost have to resign here in this position. I almost have to resign here in this position. Wow, let's, what's going on here? So queen e2, queen e2, and then the bishop d6, then just, just resigning. I have to resign. That's, that's it. He gave me quite a night, nice uh, baboon, right, in my face. Yeah, always difficult to, to warm up a nice game by Sheffield, so let's keep playing. And now I'm gonna take another uh, strong opponent, so I wanna lose another game. No, but let's just try to to upset every everyone here. So Julius Sitka, uh, let's just play knight f3. I wanna uh, now make a comeback here. So c4, knight c6, d4, c takes e4, knight takes e4, knight f6, g6. It goes for the accelerated dragon and then we are in the Maroxi structure here knight takes e4 queen takes e4 d6 and now i'm just gonna play bishop e3 here bishop g7 and uh, bishop e2 it's gonna go short castle here and then queen d2 just removing my queen for uh, this all these knight tri nice tricks and he goes for uh, a5 here and uh, the idea is of course to go a4 here so for example i'm just gonna play rook c1 and then he's gonna go a4 here. Let's say short castle and uh, queen a5. Let's just go for rook fd1 here and bishop e6. Okay, let's just reach this end game. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. So queen takes e2, rook takes e2. And uh, greetings from Chile. So uh, somebody's saying uh, huge uh, hello to everyone in Chile. It's uh, one of my favorite countries. What's going on here? Ah, I think I know this line. Did I just uh, blunder my pawn on e4? Well, what's going on with me today? What's going on with me today, guys? <laughs> rook takes e2, knight takes e4. So I have, I'm forced to take an f6 and then rook takes e2, but of course he managed to, to, to get a nice position here. Anyway, let's just try to keep playing. And for example, not that easy to play anymore. What's going on? So bishop d4 takes takes on b5. Looks quite good for him. And so let's just play rook dc2. And of course he is not into... He cannot play b5 now, but there's some nice maneuvers. Just for example, uh, double rooks on the f file. I will try to bring my king to the center. Let's say f3, king f2, for example, or even f4, g4. And f5 could be an idea just to remove this guy from there. But now he goes for a3, I'm forced to, to play this. He's playing quite nice. So rook d1, I got some troubles now. I got some real troubles now. What about if I just play bishop d4? So he is kind of forced to take on d4 and then these end games. Bishop d2. Wait, let me think for a while. Bishop b2, complicated position again, man. <laughs> Bishop takes b2, and now he can take even on b3, right? He could even take on b3, but then rook takes c8, and then the, the, the pawn on a3 is hanging. And yeah, so a takes b2, rook takes b2, c3, then my rook comes back to c2, and no problem. And now he can take on b3, and this end game could be a little bit better for, for white. Uh, for black, sorry, uh, because now this pawn looks like a like a huge target, but this pawn is gonna come to b4, so I think, and then I can double rooks on the on the b file if I need it, and then this pawn can start running actually. So it's not uh, it's not clear for who's uh, better this end game. Um, zo 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 zo. Now he's threatening to go to exchange a pair of bishops, so I'm just gonna go bishop g4 here. And uh, e6 is gonna follow, and then probably f4, just uh, with the intention of uh, bringing my king to the center as fast as possible. So, um, yeah, very nice game before by uh, by Shefford. 
So now just f3 and then just with intention of uh, doubling rooks on the b file in case he goes for rook c4, my opponent e4 is defended. So he goes for rook b5, then I'm just gonna uh, bring my king, bring my king to e3 and then to d3 as, po as possible. If I manage to exchange a pair of rooks will be very nice, but I don't see how yet. So rook b8, let's just play rook b1 here and uh, rook b3 just in case he wants to, to uh, penetrate and uh, on the background so just king d4 with the intention of going king c4 start start pushing this guy here so rook c1 he doesn't allow this so i'm just gonna go for king d3 and rook c2 is my idea rook c2 here we go so if i manage to exchange a pair of rooks i will probably be uh, much better so king c4 here then he starts to uh, wow, now it's not easy, right? Now it's uh, not easy, just gonna play King C3. Just 30 seconds on my clock, so I should be pretty fast if I don't wanna lose some time. So let's just play Rook D2, it's gonna give me a check. Just uh, King C2, go back. And now Rook C2 again, my idea is just to bring my King, my king to E2 now. So only 36 seconds, just go back, go back, go back. Rook D4, I'm forced to defend again. Rook C4 and then here, so this looks like H4, I'm gonna try to do something over there, g4, let's just start uh, trying to create a pass pawn. Let's just uh, play rook h2, for example, in order to uh, start running. So king g3, let's see what happens. Just, uh, for example, rook g2, I'm gonna try to, okay, h5, now we have to run, we have to run, we have to run, we have to run, we have to run like a beast, like a beast, like a beast, king h5. What's going on here, guys? I have no clue, b5 as well, it's an idea. I don't know what's gonna come here. So B5, let's just start running. So he goes and try to defend this guy here. Now King G6, he gonna give a check. This is, uh, so B6 here. I don't know if this is gonna be checkmate, B7. So let's just play here and here and take, take. He beat me on time, on time. Whoa, 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 two losses. So let's uh, keep playing. And for, for example, against Son Slassy. Wow, man. All right, so <laughs> today is not my day, but okay, let's uh, just try to keep some, keep playing chess, knight f6, and we're gonna go now for the king's Indian. And bishop g7 and bishop e2, we are in the main line. And now he goes for f4, the four pawns attack. Now the, the main reaction is just to strike in the center with f with uh, c5 and e6, and he takes with the e pawn. This is not the main idea, so I'm just gonna go bishop f5 in order to uh, to go knight e4. This is uh, an idea that is uh, available in all this position just to um, to to put more uh, pressure on the b2 pawn, and he goes for bishop d3. And all right, so let's just play, for example, <laughs> what should we play? Let's play uh, queen d7 here. He can take on f5, queen takes f5. <laughs> and he goes for h3. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's play knight a6 in order to go knight b4. He goes and stops this with the uh, uh, a3. So now my idea would be just to strike with b5 if possible, maybe g4 is a possibility, but then he has to take care of these uh, sacrifices as well that are available in this position. I don't think it's actually nah, uh, good enough to take everything on g4, but let's just collect this guy on d3, and now I wanna strike already with uh, b5, but I think it's not possible, or maybe it's not a good option, so I'm just gonna go rook b8 first, and if it goes a4, then my b4 square, this will be available for my knight in the future. I mean, just uh, in the very close future, right? Just knight a6, uh, knight b4, and then a6, b6, or b5 ideas I'll see in here. So knight b4 followed by some knight e4. If it goes, let's say, for example, to d1, this is very interesting because we give a lot of uh, uh, importance to this guy here. And... Uh, So, knight a6, knight b4, I need some of my elo points back, man, so I'm down to 2800, so I should fight for those. So he goes for, plays queen b1, defending uh, f5, quite an interesting idea, and uh, I don't know if I want to blow up everything here with by playing h5, no, of course not, uh, g6 is hanging, so I should uh, be very careful in this position, 
I should be very very careful in this position. Let's just play a6. He goes g5. I can just jump to h5, and then the no problems. F6. I can just retreat my bishop to f8. But maybe he can go bishop g5 here. Then starting putting some pressure over there. Okay, the position is quite double edged. So I don't know what's going on actually. Actually, b5 maybe. It's even possible because of the a takes, a takes, knight takes b5, there is knight d5 over there. So, uh, yeah, looks like quite interesting. So I'm just going to go for this. The only problem is after taking knight takes b5 and then knight takes d5, there is rook a7 over there. But then rook b7 takes, takes and knight d6 is actually quite unpleasant for me. So not my main option. The other possibility is just to take on f5, right? He takes f5 and king g8, and then I don't know who's attacking in this position, right? So let's see what's going on. Mm, g takes f5, and now my idea was just to go king h8, followed by rook g8, and then see what's going on. I still enjoy a beautiful knight here on b4. His queen cannot move actually quite easily because uh, all my knights are controlling quite nicely uh, all, the possible, all the squares. So he goes uh, knight g5 there, and then h6, he wants to jump to e4, right? He wants to jump to e4, and then uh, there's bishop g4 check. I don't know. Mm, what about if I just, uh, for example, h6, knight e4, knight takes, and then uh, I could think on going for double rooks there. Okay, let's just go for rook e7 straight away. And... Uh, Next move is going to be rook b e8, right? Rook b e8 uh, and possibly a next move h6. So what I want to do, I want to take control on the e4 square, right? So this knight can jump there to e4. And if I manage to double rooks on the e file, then this is uh, not going to be possible uh, anymore for him, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. So rook e7 and now... What is he gonna do? Rook f4. He's going uh, and actually wants to kick my ass very fast because he wants to go rook h4 over there. And then his this starts getting very serious. And for example, what if I just play rook g8 here? Rook g8, he's got rook h4 anyway, right? So h6, rook h4. Oh my god. Oh my god, not easy, not easy. Bishop h6 looks like, like a possibility, right? So if rook h4, I just take on g5 and then rook g8, and then it's not easy how to defend this bishop on g5. So I'm just gonna go for this, even though this looks quite scary, but uh, all right. So people are asking, when are you gonna do a Spanish Panther Blitz? Just after this session at 5.30, I will, uh, do my uh, usual Spanish uh, Bantam Blitz session. So bishop h6, he's, to, he's got to go uh, for rook h4, then bishop takes e5, and then rook h8. He goes for h4. Okay, at least he's, uh, he hasn't got uh, options of uh, now attacking me on the h5. So I'm just gonna go rook g8, and then probably he's got to go back with this rook on to, the, to f1 or f2, for example. But then I can retreat my bishop to f8, and then uh, uh, maybe, um, or I don't know, rook f3. I can just retreat this guy to g7, and then I want to go h6. Still, he's got this option of going knight to, to, to e4, right? But then I can just double rooks on the e file. Then he takes on f6, bishop takes f6. Looks more or less okay for me, right? So king h1, and then I want to go uh, rook g e8. So now after my move h6 is probably forced to go back to a3, which is not the best uh, square for him. Now queen f1, and then this gives me the option of uh, bringing my knight to the important square d4, right? So knight c2, attacking the rook on a1, and then after rook c1, mm, and then after rook c1, let's say just uh, knight d4, for example, attacking on f5, attacking the rook on f3. So I think my position has improved a little bit. And I also got these nice ideas of knight h5 and knight uh, to g3, right? So he goes for, uh, for this. And then what about if I just, uh, for example, uh, play knight g4 here, then rook g2. 
or even h6 there, h6 just go, go away. So for example, knight f3, I could jump to g4 here or even take on f5 looks pos pos a possibility. But uh, for example, knight a3, I can just jump to g4 with my knight, rook g2, what's going on there? It's actually quite difficult position for everyone here. So after knight a3, also knight h5 looks, uh, wow, he sacrifices everything over there. He sacrifices everything, so I'm forced to take it. And uh, now I'm just gonna give the piece back, so I'm gonna enjoy some space over there. So D takes if I, he takes on F6, and uh, the position is uh, getting extremely double edged. So now Knight D4, so he could uh, take on H6, but then this uh, he can take actually on H6. Maybe he can. Maybe he can take on F6. But then I can just take on f6, queen takes f6 and king h7. I know this looks extremely, extremely dangerous for me, but I think I have to go for this. I got to go for this, actually. So let's just go for this and then king h7. But I, the good thing, I'm also threatening to go queen h3 here in this position, right? And then rook g8 or something like this. So it looks like I'm saving this uh, uh, this position and not an easy day for me today one of the worst days at the office for me like uh, a lot of people want to crush my ass here today in uh, the bunt blitz session so 15 seconds for Solonyasti looks like I'm gonna manage in this game finally to get uh, some nice uh, win no I don't know if nice but at least a win right so <laughs> rook s7 and now this queen can join the party by a f5 so of course, I'm quite happy now with all these endgames because uh, solid choices are just blunder checkmate in one move. But this is not gonna happen today. No Christmas today. So rook takes f5 now. All right, let's just play knight f3, for example, attacking this g5 uh, bishop. Thanks for the game, Sodoniaski. And um, let's just keep playing, for example, against, uh, against uh, another strong player. So he picks from France uh, and uh, hey Jose Machado is in Florida Miami not a bad place uh, to live right not a bad place I was in Miami Miami Beach actually uh, like one month ago uh, it was amazing I, I had the opportunity to to uh, to watch uh, the the game between Djokovic and Nadal so it was quite amazing and he goes for this structure here, but the thing is I can just take everything on d4 and then just uh, uh, play knight c6. He goes for long castle and then let's see who uh, who arrives first. <laughs> I don't know, but okay, let's just play for example b4 here. So he's got to go to d5 probably. He does it and now just gonna collect this guy here and probably just uh, knight e5. I want to sacrifice his pawn on the on, on b4. I actually don't know if it's enough or not, but then I'll get the b file and then some, some contemplate for sure. Or maybe a5 followed by bishop a6. This is some sort of benko structure. Um, all right, so he goes for queen f2. And given the fact that he cannot go f4 straight away because g4 is hanging. Wow, there's some nice tactics here. Look at this, guys. So bishop takes g4, f takes g4, knight takes g4, and then knight takes e 3 and then bishop g5. So I'm just gonna take this guy here on, on, on g4, and then if f takes, it's just uh, um, keep in mind what's the idea. So knight takes e4 and knight, knight takes e3. The thing is, wow, this is a nice trick. Boom! Nice combination after queen g3, knight takes e3, queen takes e3, bishop g5. Look at this, I'm starting to look at you with beautiful eyes just to let you know what happens if you take this guy on uh, e3 he didn't do it of course because this means just he's gonna resign very soon but instead he goes for rook e1 and now bishop g5 he's forcing uh, king b1 I should be able to win this game otherwise and just uh, too bad, man. So let's just play, for example, I'm gonna enjoy a nice bishop here on f6. Look at this guy here. Look at this guy here on e5. He's so happy, man. Now, finally, we're starting to play some decent chess. So bishop e5, then this queen can come to f6 as well. 
This queen can come to f6, looks like, right? So all the end games are quite nice for us. And the thing is, we are attacking here on, on b2. Or maybe we could even think on, the, for example, just pushing all the way around with a5, a4 and b3. Just trying to create some sort of attack against uh, the white king. He's gonna do the same here, so h5. But the thing is, after h6, we can always go g6 and no troubles at all, at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. At all. So, h5, he's coming as well. He's not uh, afraid of my attack here. So, let's see who reaches first. And now, uh, for example, I wanted to go a3 here. And then this gives me all this diagonal. But also, b3 looks quite, quite, quite uh, natural, right? Uh, so, b3, he can take and then play a3 and try to save uh, the game more or less. But I don't know, for example, a3, b3, I want to put a queen there on the, this diagonal, but it's not that easy, right? Or maybe it is. Yeah, I'm just going to play a3 and then f5 with the idea of bringing my queen to f6 and then bishop a1 followed by queen b2 checkmate. This is the idea. Pepe, where do you, Pepe, where do you live? Well, Granada? No, I am from Granada. But uh, since I finished university, I left Granada. First, I studied a, a master's in was Erasmus Mundus Master. I don't know if you guys know about these programs, but basically it's quite awesome. You, uh, you are uh, two years in three different countries. So I studied in Italy for six months and then uh, Hamburg six months and then Poland in Dansk for another, six for another year. And then basically I got hired by, uh, uh, by Hamburg University. So I started uh, a PhD in Hamburg and then I have been working there for the last three three years, but I just finished in December. So now I moved back to Spain and living in Madrid. And uh, yeah, meanwhile, uh, working for Chess24, looking, looking for opportunities at the university in academia. This is my thing. So Queen F6, now this knight on C3 is attacked. So the thing is, if he removes this knight, then B2 is gonna be extremely tasty for my queen. It's not easy. To say I move here for, 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 for white here, I'm just gonna try to be a little bit tricky in this position. Wow, there are so many possibilities. For example, f5 is one of them. f4, sorry. With the idea of going queen f5 check. The thing is, he can always go queen e4, right? But then all these end games should be uh, one for black, right? So, yeah. Mm. Some people from Colombia are watching the show as well. So knight f2 and here, I don't know, so many options, right? So he wants to jump to e4 with this beautiful knight. I want to go bishop a1 here just to force this knight to come to d3 and not to e4. That actually is a much more interesting square. So basically he's forced to go to, to, to d3. And now, maybe, and just maybe, just queen c3. Not queen c3, that looks pretty bad. Queen e2. Wow, this should be more or less a game over soon. So I'm just gonna go for rook e8, for example. Just in order to stop, the, to stop this queen e6 ideas, um, he's forced to go to c2 or something like this. And now, for example, just f3 with the intention of going uh, rook e2 could be a disaster for him. But even though rook e2 now looks quite good because of the exchange of, uh, of rooks. And then the knight on f2 is, is hanging and this pawn is already almost a queen. There, there are queen f1 ideas in that position. So probably he's got to resign pretty, pretty, pretty soon at this position. And yeah. So, oh, people from Japan as well. What is this? People from Japan. Awesome. What about if I just... Uh, exchange to queens this should be uh, more than enough for uh, the win so why well, well yeah queen takes v2 now bishop takes v2 and he can never take on e2 because there's rook f1 in the next moves and even uh, for example here ideas with rook e8 are swelling the air so rook e8 is actually a quite a, a huge threat here so forcing the uh, the exchanges um, he's gonna have to resign very very soon very very soon So knight g5 here. Wow. 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 
Let's just collect this guy here and play f2 here. And he's got to go to f1 and for example, bishop d4. Wait, be careful, Pepe. Be careful, my friend. Be careful, my friend. Okay, let's just play rook f5 here. 96 or 94. And now let's defend this guy here on f2. My idea is just to collect all these guys available on h5 and on d5. And knight g3. Well, just rook g5 with the intention of going uh, rook g1 looks like winning already for black. So he pays from France. Viva la France. Uh, J'ai pas un petit français. Zelman un petit peu. So rook g1 just uh, wins the, the game. Maybe bishop e3 now. Yeah, bishop e3. So he's gonna go king c2, and then after bishop d2, he can take on, on f2. I mean, just to survive a little bit more in this position, but yeah, he's got to resign. Thanks for the game. Where are the three minute games, guys? Only five minute games. This is not good because we've been here already for uh, 40 minutes and only three or four games. So, three minute games, guys. Uh, for example, Alexander Potier, another 2400 player. I want to get my eight, my 1800 rating back, so <laughs> knight f3. And uh, from India, Absen Ilker Barikushi Hui. These are the two sentences I learned from my Indian friend. <laughs> uh, okay, again the accelerated dragon. Let's just try to, to play against uh, the Maroxi, right? Because before I felt like I got a really shit position with white and this uh, shouldn't be uh, like this when you are playing the Maroxi. Now let's just go back to d1 with the queen. This line, knight e6. Now let's just play queen d2 here and then for example rook c1. This line is considered to be a bit better for white as well. But queen a5 and then rook c1. So we want that, we want we won't want to uh, we don't want to get uh, double double pawns here because there are some ideas related with uh, giving the bishop pair and yeah maybe maybe just bishop e2 here just uh, in order to to complete development by short castle and then even b3 here could couldn't be uh, that bad right so just short castle here. And um, maybe f4 and f5 is also an idea that it's uh, in the air in all these positions, right? Just trying to to expand our pawns and then also to ask this knight what's what's doing over there on e6, right? Um, Gross Mino is leaving, so have a nice day, Gross Mino. So people are tuning from Greece as well. I know just bad words in in Greek, but. <laughs> I had a friend, he used, he used to teach me only bad words in Greece, in Greek, sorry. So he goes for rook c8 here. What about f4 here? Let's just try to see what happens. Facundo comes into the action. Looking for some body, Facundo, on f4. f5 is gonna come as well. But this gives him the e5 square. And also, uh, he wants to jump to c5. So what about if we just play first? Uh, a3, just trying to be prophylactic. Of course, he can uh, take on c3, anything, everything, and then the, not so sure what's going on. What about if I just play bishop f3 here? Bishop f3 looks natural. Let's just go for this. It's not just to defend the e4 pawn now. That given the fact that uh, this pawn on c4 is uh, not uh, not hanging anymore because uh, it's in between this rook and the pawn, and then I can just protect with b3 all the time. So he could take on c3 and then take on a, on a2, but this looks too risky, right? Just given this monster on g7 is uh, one of the biggest sins I would ever witness. So he's not gonna go for this probably. And uh, queen a6, just attacking Carlitos. Let's just go and defend this guy here from South Korea. I don't believe you. Wow, from South Korea. Yeah, I know that big, big is Katoichi, right? Katoichi is how you say big in, 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 in South Korea. Uh, I know it's uh, quite strange uh, just to know that word, but I, I had this friend, uh, he, used to, he's, uh, he used to have this South Korean uh, girlfriend, so that's why I learned, I don't know how I, end up, I ended up learning how to say big in South Korean, but still, okay, I just did it. So b4 followed by c5 looks like a lot of pawns over there in the party already, so b4 followed by c5 looks like a really, 
really nice uh, try of pushing my all my guys here on the queen side let's go for this b4 again c5 c6 kalitox kalitos when he's uh, in the mood he uh, behaves pretty bad um, during nights he uh, wants to become a beautiful lady so he wants to reach c8 the party is on c8 for kalitos and uh, we are there we are there and uh, c5 and now we take back with the pawn on c5 and then c6 is gonna come and at least we're gonna drop this pass pawn probably and uh, okay there could be some nice uh, discovers from here so knight e5 after all the exchanges what about if i just remove the queen from uh, the d file for example let's say to b4 b7 is high as well so he shouldn't take on a2 i guess and also c6 is gonna come here and how you say rat at the time in Korean? I don't know. I don't know, but uh, our Korean friend could tell us. Philippines as well. Isle Guevara from Philippines, from Manila maybe. So quick before now, C6 is in the air. Two minutes and 40 seconds from Alexander for Alexander Potier. I only got the same time, two minutes and 40 seconds and uh, Quite difficult position for black. He goes knight f6. I can just go rook f1 defending my d pawn. And uh, not many squares for his pieces. I could also try d6 since b7 is hanging. So b6 look, looks like a really nice uh, a way of uh, destroying his position. What about d6? He takes d6. Bishop b7. D takes c5. I can just recapture with my bishop on c5. Then the rook of c8 is hanging. So let's just go for this. d6 is in the air. So b7 is hanging. What are you gonna do about this, man? So what are you gonna do about this? Not easy. Probably uh, it's gonna have to give up uh, an exchange here in this position. For example, rook c6 here trying to install a knight blockade. My idea is after bishop b7 and then the rook b8. Oh, he goes for uh, queen d3. I completely overlooked this. But I think I can just play, for example, rook c3 here. It's true that my 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 pieces are gonna be hanging as well. But I think I need to go for this rook c3, and he takes on c5, and then I can just take with my bishop back, right? That was my whole uh, the whole point. So I can just take with my bishop. I actually not so sure, but I think I need to move quite fast. So bishop takes c5. The position is getting quite quite double edge again. All the pieces are hanging in both in both sides. So I actually don't know. Uh, the thing is, if he doesn't do anything special, I'm just gonna take this uh, this rook on c8, and then will be an exchange up, and then should be much better for white. Knight d5 doesn't work because of rook takes e3, knight takes b4, rook takes e8, rook takes e8, and bishop b4. Maybe no, it doesn't. It is not working because after rook b8 in that line, there is rook d1, rook takes b7, and rook d8, and then there are background problems. So he goes for queen e2, and now it's time to uh, to take on c8. Oh wow, he's got this uh, uh, knight d5 ideas. I don't think so. So let's just take this guy here, rook d8, and for example, uh, play something like queen to c4. Doesn't look to me that easy to win this position so what about just uh, uh, bishop d4 here yeah bishop d4 looks quite nice he takes on c3 then just queen takes c3 there are some checks on c8 later so i think we managed to solve more or less all the problems that we got we we we, we had in this position so and he removes the queen the rook sorry now we can just play uh, queen c4 is that right so of course, any exchange uh, is uh, quite good for us. And the thing is, he's gonna have to remove the queen from the seventh rank. It was uh, kind of a nightmare for him, for me, to to have this queen here on the seventh rank. So he's got to go back to uh, to wow. This is just a wow. What a nice sacrifice. So knight e4. What's going on? Queen takes e2. Bishop takes uh, d4, and then just rook e3. It just seems to win. So give me that baby. Give me that baby. And rook e3, um, more or less we have saved the position. Knight c3, just queen f3, for example. Um, rook e8, just rook e1 over there. And uh, looks like we are winning, but still not that clear, right? So <laughs> still we need to 
to work a little bit in this position. So bishop takes c3, just rook takes c3, and this is gone. This is gone, my friends. That's it. That's it. Oh, greetings from Brazil as well. Wow, Brazil, such an amazing country. I was there in the, just a month ago or something, and uh, it was really an amazing experience. I was in Rio de Janeiro. And let's just play C4 now. Only tough opponents today. What, what is this? Knight F6 and Knight F3 and uh, G6. Okay, let's just try to play the the Fianchetto uh, variation against the King's Indian. You can enjoy a nice video series by Robin van Kampen in the in Chess uh, 24. Just gonna go for A3 here. And normally, uh, okay, he takes on D4 and Rook E8. Just gonna play E4 here. So Knight C5 attacking. Uh, e4 is quite natural. He goes for rook b8. And uh, for example, what about if I just uh, play bishop e3 here? So he's gonna go for knight e5, b3, and then he wants to go for b5. All these lines are quite tricky actually, so I need to be uh, really, really careful. So uh, knight e2, and then he's gonna go for knight c6. All right. All right, so queen d2, b5 is the move probably. And then I, ju I just want to put a lot of pressure on the d6 pawn. Basically, it's going to get a lot of content play here. But uh, let's see who arrives, arrives first in this uh, in this position. Simba is a, is a kid from the, from the Netherlands. So uh, very nice country as well. I visited so many, many times Delft and Rotterdam and Den Haag. And uh, as I am an engineer, as I told you, a civil engineer, it's very interesting from the engineering point of view, uh, the whole Netherlands, uh, because of the, the floods there, uh, basically the whole country is uh, under, the, under the sea, under the sea level. Did you just uh, blunder my, my E4 pawn again? Just talking bullshit here and then blundering all the pieces I got in the board. Well, I'm not so sure because I got this uh, Queen D5 move here that maybe saves the day for me. Yes, looks like this Knight takes E4, just Queen D5 uh, saves uh, the day for me because the two pieces are hanging. But even though I feel like this could be quite dangerous for me, there are some uh, nice Bishop B7 ideas over there. So basically, I don't know what's going on. Uh, at least I can just take on E4 and take on D6. And this position, even though I just lost the bishop pair, then there are some weaknesses on c5, for example, that could be uh, uh, could be targeted with my pieces, right? So Zimba from the Netherlands, uh, wow! Zo 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 zo. Knight takes e4, and now queen d5, bishop b7. What's going on over there, guys? Bishop takes e4, and knight a5. And looks like I would be uh, losing some pieces over there. So um, bishop takes e4. I'm gonna give up that man. So well, let's just try to 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 play this line to see. He realizes uh, uh, some ideas. He realizes that he can play bishop b7 here. This is so uh, annoying for me because after bishop takes e4, knight takes uh, knight d4, for example. But then I can just uh, um, well, this is so uncomfortable for me. So bishop e4, rook takes e4, queen takes e4. Then he can just go and knight d4 over there. Wow. Wow. Anyway, I, need, I think I need to go for this. So I think I could be losing already in this position. But you never know. This is chess. Um, he takes there and knight e5. I think this is a mistake because now I can just block with rook d5. And then we are uh, a rook up, and then he takes on d5 will be uh, just a, a, a piece up. That is not, it's not bad actually. So bishop takes e5, queen takes e5, and now if f5 I can just retreat my queen to g2, just defending this rook on d5. Of course, my plan is just to reinforce my position with uh, uh, double rooks on the d file. And he goes for queen f6, which means I can just play knight f4 over there, or just, uh, for example, f4 here f4 looks quite nice so kicking this knight back and he's forced to go to c6 or to d7 and then as i told you i can just uh, wow he goes queen e6 but then just rook ed1 looks good so there are no knight f3 ideas 
Only 40 seconds for him, 50 seconds for me. So we got to play fast in this position. So f5, just queen g2, uh, no problem at all. And uh, bishop takes e5, f5 is coming. Wow, some sort of uh, crazy position here. So let's just try to go queen g2 in order to cover the f3 square. So knight uh, f7 here. And uh, I'm just gonna go for rook d3, defending my guy here on e3. Uh, still rook e8 ideas, but after bishop takes e5, just queen takes e5, seems to win. And after rook e8, you can just uh, bring my king to f2, for example, or even my knight to b6 in order to recapture on d5 with this beautiful corsel. So only 10 seconds for Simba, who played a really nice game, still trying to make uh, things uh, very complicated here with this bishop b4 idea, which is uh, quite nice for him. So what about if I just take on d4 here, takes, takes, and now what should I do here? Wow, wow, all my pieces are hanging. I cannot even make a move, so I got to take here. And then Queen F2 is gonna get this uh, piece back, but only seven seconds for him. So let's say just uh, Knight B6 in order to play Knight C4. I wanna go uh, Rook B5 here. It's gonna go for Rook C8, and now D5, Knight E5. Ideas takes, takes, and uh, Knight takes, uh, let's say just Rook B6, and it's gonna lose some time. Thanks for the game, uh, Zimba. And uh, for example, let's play against uh, Klinka from the United Kingdom. Oh man, I'm gonna end up dying today in this uh, session. Well, well played, Simba from from Netherlands. Very strong kid. And um, all right. E4. E4 ideas. I'm having really difficult positions. My positions are looking even more ugly. My positions are looking even uglier. I don't know what was I was gonna say. Yeah, two difficult positions. More difficult than to take a picture to a fart. So you can imagine how my positions are looking today. Oh my god. Simba is only 13 years old, so very strong chess player. Yes, keep playing like this. One day you will beat a lot of grandmasters if you haven't done it already. So for example, we got here a lot of people. We got a lot of people. Let's play against, uh, for example, Non Quixote from the States. And uh, okay, almost back to my 2800. <laughs> and uh, okay, D4, and let's play the Benko, yeah? I don't know if you guys know, but there's a video series uh, that I just uh, did in, in, well, I did it two years ago, something like this, about the Benko, the Perunovic variation. Okay, he doesn't go for C4, so I cannot play the Benko. Let's just play the King's Indian. And he goes for Knight BD2. Let's just stop E4 um, and play D5. And then this is some sort of uh, London system, but with the Bishop on, uh, on C1, right? So this should be uh, harmless. And let's just try to play simple chess, C5 here. He could think on taking on C5. This sacrifice is interesting. I mean, I I just uh, give this pawn, but then I gain a lot of control in the in the center. So I could play a5 or a knight c6 and e5. He doesn't go for this. I'm just gonna play knight c6. One of the ideas here is just to try to, um, to break in the in the center with e5. Let's say uh, queen c7 or queen d6, even uh, defending this guy on on the on c5. And then he goes for rook e1. He wants to go e4 here. And yeah, I should think uh, what should I should think on what to play now, how to, to play in a prophylactic way against these e4 ideas. So for example, bishop f5 is not so stupid as you might think, because after bishop takes f5, g takes f5, we gain a lot of control on the on the light squares on this on this e4 square. So it's not that stupid, but uh, what should I do? 
e4, he wants to go e4, then takes, takes, well, just have played b6. If he goes for e4, I will just take on e4, and then c takes e4, and then the, we will reach some sort of uh, isolated pawn structure position, which should be okay for black. So he goes for e4 now, as I told you, I'm just gonna take on e4 and then on d4. And after knight takes f6, just bishop f6, looks good for me. And he goes c takes d4, I think this pawn is already hanging over there on d4, so why not to take it, right? c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight takes, queen takes d4. Uh, okay, maybe I will have some troubles here on this diagonal, but I don't see how yet, so... If you don't see how, just take everything tonight. And we got new premiums here, Desidio. I don't think so, Desidio, because we already played some games, at least one game. Um, so maybe he could take on f6, and the thing is, after bishop takes f6, there is bishop a6 here. So he takes on d4 with a knight, and then I think I'm just uh, taking this guy on d4, right? So queen takes d4, there are no checks. No discovered checks, so queen takes e4, knight takes f6, e takes f6, queen f3, I can just develop with uh, my bishop. Well, there is some idea which is very interesting for him. For him. So queen takes e4, knight takes uh, d4, bishop, sorry, queen takes e4, knight takes f6, bishop takes f6, bishop e4. But then I can just take on d1, and then rook b8, bishop f4 and then e5 so not 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 a problem so let's just uh, well not so sure queen takes e4 bishop e3 i could just collect this guy here on b2 right i don't know to wow mouse leap a mouse leap which is not so bad because <laughs> it would have been worse uh, to go to d6 right so Anyway, let's just try to fix this. I think I still think that my position is much better because we uh, can fight against this uh, isolated pawn structure. So bishop b7, and now we're gonna put a lot of pressure on the d4 pawn. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna give a one one month premium membership. To the one who answers uh, the first one in the chat, in the Chess24 chat. So the question is the following. Who was the first man climbing the Everest? The one who replies one month for free. So you guys can start looking in Google. If you don't know the one, you know you got an advantage. So just type the answer in the, the chat in Chess24 and then I will give you one month premium membership for free guys there's a lot of videos you can enjoy in chess 24 and uh, a lot of things to enjoy so 95 of course every exchange uh, favors black here as i told you because of the the pawn structure who was the first man climbing the everest guys so who reached the top hillary so carl nearing carl nearing uh he uh I'm gonna write down your name, so I will add your one month premium membership when this session is over. Thanks uh, for participating. And this is a pawns for free, give it to me, boop! Da, 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 da. Pawn for free, I take it! Bishop takes e4, queen takes e4, queen takes e4, rook takes e4. And... Uh, Yeah, this position looks quite quite nice for, for Black already, so. Carl Nirim, you won. And of course, this is what you should do when uh, you are material objects exchanging everything possible, eliminating all the pieces in the board. So the rook end games are quite nice with, with when you're a pawn up, right? So. Zo, 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 zo. 40 seconds only 40 seconds for him so yeah and tomorrow for those who 
who are free tomorrow, they're gonna be some sort of lecture, some sort of repertoire for black uh, in Spanish against the London system. So you guys can come and watch. It's gonna be at uh, four, I think at 4 p.m. I don't know what time I just uh, fixed yesterday, but I think it's gonna be at 4 p.m. tomorrow. It's in Spanish, but even though you don't speak Spanish, you can try to to learn something. And uh, let's just play rook d2 here and then collect all these guys here on the queen side. And rook takes v2. Can go e5. There are some tricks already. And for example, let's play king f6 here. If e5, we can follow with king e6 here. These end games, even though there are many possibilities uh, uh, of drawing chances, actually. Uh, they are so uh, difficult to play when you are short on time. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, from the practical point of view, it's just winning for black, right? So thanks for the game, Non Quixote. And we keep playing and we got another strong opponent here from France. So let's play against him. Um, Hugo Bertier, um, for example, let's play Knight F3 here. It's only for premium members, guys, tomorrow. So only it's a only premium membership uh, show. Um, so c4, e6, and let's play g3 here. After d5, d4, reach the Catalan. I also record this a series on the Catalan, so I can tell you something about this. So bishop g2, short castle, and now c6, uh, d takes c4. This is what. Uh, all the top class players are playing every day. Uh, nowadays, the idea is after queen takes e4, b5, then uh, black manages to install this uh, bad bishop on the best diagonal. So you normally go a4 here, and now bishop d7 is what people play in theory. After queen takes e4, bishop c6. And bishop f4 is uh, the line that Boris Abreu recommends in his book. And uh, after bishop d6, queen c1. I actually played this against a 2600 player in the Spanish league last year. And then I managed to lose this with white. So, But the thing is, you want to go here, knight c3 for example, and uh, rook d1. These are the ideas normally. So rook d1, bishop takes f4, queen takes f4, queen d6. These end games are considered to be a little bit better for white, but nothing special, right? So just rook d1. And he goes for uh, knight b4 here. And well, let's just try uh, to play, for example, bishop g5 here. And after a6, we can even take on f6 and play e4. And yeah, normally uh, you give up the bishop pair, but then you, you got a lot of space here in this position. So it's not so bad, right? So a6, just take on f6, e4, and then e5 could be the reaction, but then you can follow with d5, then knight b5 ideas. Well, it's pretty equal. Cool. Um, what lines will we recommend it? You will see tomorrow, you will see tomorrow, just come and join and become premium. And let's see how this uh, lecture works. Then later I will publish some material in an ebook. So, so knight d5 here, and well, I want to fight for the e4 square, but I think this fight is already lost. So maybe knight b5 here, maybe knight b5, bishop takes b5, a takes b5, queen d7, just queen c4, so nothing happens. So let's just go for knight b5 here. And after a6, we can always retreat our bishop to d2. My idea, of course, now is just to win the bishop pair. I want to take on d6 and then play this position that maybe is not so bad for him because he covers the e5 square. Then he also gains his c file for the rook. So maybe it's not so bad for him. And yeah, after a6, I want to go back to d2. As I told you, he goes back with the bishop. A wise decision. So maybe, just maybe now, I could try to jump with this beautiful knight to e5, right? Now, given the fact that we are attacking on c6, he forced to go bishop takes b5, I would say. And then, of course, this is a very, very nice position for white since we got the bishop pair and we got the possibility of playing e4. It's gonna be quite hard for black to stop these e4 ideas. So, 
he's got to take on b5 and now e4 is coming then this bishop can always go back to uh, e3 now bishop d2 attacking b6 uh, sorry a5 he can never go b6 really because there is uh, ah i just uh, didn't see this bishop b4 ideas okay he wants to exchange let's just improve our structure a little bit so bishop takes c3 then b takes c3 and now c4 ideas also are also in the air given uh, this bishop a uh, beautiful diagonal after this knight is removed from d5 right so I... queen e7 let's just strike in the center by playing e4 knight b6 ideas i want to avoid the exchange of uh, the bishops but it's not gonna be possible what about if i just go knight d3 forcing him to take on b on c3 because if he doesn't do it then i will take the bishop on b4 so b takes c3 what's going on in this position i want to go c4 but maybe he's on time to play knight c4 by himself so knight c4 rook a4 knight b6 and then Rook a1 back, so not that easy, not that easy, not that easy, not that easy, not that easy. What's going on in this position? Maybe I can just play queen c2 followed by queen a2, then this kicking this knight back and then playing c4, bring Carlitos to the party. Carlitos! Carlitos is here! So c6 has been played, so I'm just gonna take here and then the, maybe queen a2 just kicking this knight back to b6 and probably we can jump to c5 or to e5 with our beautiful knight probably to c5 also bring a rook to uh, the action to the b5 what about c4 followed by e5 as well looks quite interesting looks quite interesting let's just play c4 here no what's going on d4 could be weak but also e5 is in the air c6 is quite quick he has to do something about this e5 is the threat he has to take to e8 but then boom bishop takes e6 just winning in the pawn followed by d5 creating this pass pawn yes gonna be quite hard for him to stop all these central pawns here so 98 bishop takes e6 rook c8 d5 looks almost crashing for white right he can take on uh, d5 but then i think everything is uh, well defended also we are attacking the a5 pawn d6 is this pawn is already in his mouth just try to breathe Hugo, try to breathe Hugo with this one in your mouth, man. It's gonna be hard for you. So queen takes e5 is also the threat here, but then c4 is hanging, so not that easy to take this one on a5. But d6 followed by d7, looks like crashing. d6 followed by uh, bishop takes e8 and c5 as well. All this one comes to the action. What are you gonna do about this? Only one minute for Hugo. We got uh, two minutes and 40 seconds. Quite nice position for white here, but you can never uh, stop thinking in chess because uh, one last mistake and then you are done. He takes e5, he takes e5, queen to g5, looking for some counter play over there, but uh, looks like uh, there's no counter play for him. So queen takes a5, knight takes c4, queen, ta queen c3, defending the e pawn looks uh, quite good for us. So let's just go for this. So queen c3 defending the e pawn. Now we even we can reinforce the position with f4. Facundo joining the party, attacking the queen, defending e5. This knight has to go probably to b6, where he will be threatening to take on d5, and then we can just uh, improve the position of our queen. Wow, rook c6. Did I, did I just blunder? Well, looks like uh, I got some nice uh, knight b4 ideas over there. So. It wasn't uh, that bad, so f4 here, he's got to go back to g4 and now knight f2 here, uh, queen f3, I want to uh, avoid uh, all counterplays, uh, all the possibilities of counterplays, so let's just take there and then just, ah, oh, knight d6 was winning already, A anyway, we managed to win the game, thanks for the game, and uh, sorry guys, but I cannot accept uh, premium uh, non-premium membership mm, members another 2500 player what's going on here today all the strong players uh, wanna beat me today so yes let's play c4 here um and knight f6 let's play knight c3 here and c6 we end the slap but you can avoid the slab in this order by transposing to some sort of, uh, to some sort of uh, 
Karokan, right? So we're in the Panoff now, the Panoff variation against the Karokan. With this delay d4, the, one of the ideas actually, you can go bishop b5 here in this position, um, e6, short castle, bishop e7, then you can even think on taking on c6 and ruin the structure there, even though you give up the bishop per, this is actually quite nice and quite interesting. Um, so let's see what he plays. Normally, bringing this bishop out of the pawn chain should be, uh, normally it's quite dangerous for black, so it's better just to play calm with e6 here, and bishop e7, d4, d4, short castle, and then I used to take on c6 here in these positions. I played this in even in classical games, but then somehow I realized that was not the best option. So it goes for bishop d7, and now we go back to d3. This bishop is here on d7, it's not the best square, and now you just follow the, the simple plans uh, that normally are, are used in, in this uh, isolated pawn structure. Uh, positions you go a3 here then you maybe wanna go some h4 in some positions and um, it goes queen c7 here mm, okay let's just go a3 as i told you maybe he wants to go knight f4 he wants for rook e8 and i would love to develop this guy in here in d2 so let's just try to do it or maybe queen e2 even queen e2 followed by queen e4 could be an idea as well or as i told you h4 ideas and uh, queen e2 there is knight f4 coming so that's why you shouldn't play this but um what about bishop d2 knight f4 we can always go back to b1 whoa mm, bishop f6 bishop f6 this is quite interesting the idea is quite simple but i'm just gonna play rook c1 if he takes everything on d4 then there are some discovered chaps checks not checks some discover moves like knight takes d5 given the fact that this queen is on the c file so it's not gonna be that easy for him so bishop b1 of course in many positions you want to put this uh, machinery with the bishop and the queen to target the eight seven pawn so queen d6 this gives me the e4 square to jump with my beautiful knight then there are some weaknesses here on the c uh, on the c5 uh, square as well but the thing is we still have to defend this guy here on the on the, on d4 right so how should we do how should we deal with this bishop g5 ideas takes takes and g6 for example or h6 so that doesn't look that bad for him or um, hmm is it what about queen c2 let's just play queen c2 Maybe we are forcing him to play g6 here in this position. Um, and then we can take on f6. Of course, if we have weakened all these dark squares, then it's going to be quite interesting just to capture this guy here on f6. He takes with the queen, then bishop g5 ideas. Yes, bishop g5 ideas, knight takes d4, right? This knight takes d4 is uh, actually quite unpleasant. So I'm just going to go first for queen e4, just defending d4. We managed uh, to, to win the bishop pair, as I told you. But we still have to be uh, very careful in all these positions because any endgame could be uh, quite good for him uh, since uh, he is still using the bishop pair. So, sorry, the, he's still playing against the isolated pawn uh, on d4, right? Um... And Simba, H4 here, 3 minutes for uh, Ninkawi, Ninkawiki, Ninkakiwi from Norway, H4, I want to give checkmate here, H5, wow, this looks like uh, very, very risky, very, very risky, and what should we do now, for example, Rook CD1, I don't want any, any exchanges, so Rook CD1 in with the idea of going Knight E5, Bishop G5 is in the air, Knight G5 ideas as well, so he goes for Knight E7, he wants to jump to F5, no problem, let's just go Knight E5 here, he wants to go for Bishop C6, I should have been uh, paying attention to these ideas of Bishop C6 here, which looks actually quite quite interesting for him. But then we can just go Bishop G5 here, and then uh, Queen G7. I don't know where to place my queen. He goes for Rook C7. That's a really a strange move. And then what should we do here? Maybe Bishop H6, or he wants to go Knight A5 here. Still not easy to play. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Not easy to play at all. Not easy to play at all here. So bishop g5, queen g7, then he would be threatening to go h6. I don't have an, an easy uh, square for my queen here. Um, hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Oof. Okay, let's just go for bishop g5 and go retreat my uh, knight to f3. So f6 is actually uh, not a threat anymore. And I will, I would like to go maybe after bishop c6, just queen in two, this humble move. And he goes for knight f5 here, attacking my d-pawn and my h-pawn. Doesn't look that simple to play for me, right? Um, what about if I just retreat my queen to e4? Maybe this bishop can uh, take on f5 at some point and uh, ruin his pawn structure. And um, also this, uh, of course, I can also try to put my queen on d2, just uh, looking for some dark squares over there. Knight d6 there and uh, where are you going, man? Where are you going with your knight over there? So maybe bishop a2 now, bishop a2 now, uh, with the idea of taking on d5 in certain types of positions. And uh, 1 minute 45 seconds for him. We got only 19 seconds. And tonight, Madrid is playing against uh, Atletico Madrid in the semi-finals in the Champions League. So. Uh, a lot of action going on, not only in Chess 24, but also in football. What's going on here? I wanna just, uh, I wanna love somebody. I wanna love somebody. Just Bishop B3 covering the C2 square. This is getting extremely double edged. Bishop B5 ideas followed by Knight C4. But then maybe after Bishop B5, I can just go Queen E5. What's going on? What's going on? No, I should keep the queens in the board, but then knight c4, where I'm gonna place my queen? I don't know, man, just queen d2, knight c4 is gonna call, I have to take, I guess, on c4. Uh, he goes for bishop c4, which is even better, which is even better. I have to go back to c2, sadly, and then bishop b5, bishop b1, knight c4. My queen is so bad placed over there. Oh my god. Bishop c2, only one minute each player, so position looks quite, quite risky for both of us. So maybe after bishop b5, I can just play bishop d3 and try to play that position. And after knight c4, then I will have this e2 square for my queen. He's still thinking, he's still thinking, let's just play bishop b d3, bishop takes, queen takes d3, rook d2, I can just play, rook c2, I can just play, rook d2. This knight is gonna jump to e5 at some point. Knight c4, let's just try to play uh, rook e2 here, just protecting b2. Very, very complicated position. So f6, this bishop can always retreat to c1, for example. So he goes uh, rook c6 here, and I don't know what to play anymore. I'm just gonna go queen e4 here, and uh, knight d6. Let's just go back to d3. I don't wanna draw knight f5, he doesn't wanna draw either. So let's just play bishop d2 here. My pawn on h4 is hanging, so now d4 is hanging as well. So maybe I have to go back to e1. So sad position, man. I can jump to e4, to e5 now. Uh, attacking this rook. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. G3 It's gonna come to defend h4. Only 26 seconds. Position is so complicated here. Knight f5, bishop g5. Go back, knight f3, going back. A lot of maneuvers here. So he goes back with f6. Now e6 is hanging. Now I have a new target. Set 70 seconds. Rook d1. Boom. Give it that to me. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Take everything. Take everything. Take everything. Give me, 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 give me. Check, 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 check. Give me that, give me that. Just one pawn. This is just one pawn. Not the end of the world for him. So just bishop e3. Just try to bring this knight to some uh, suitable square like c3, for example. c3, check, 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 check. He took that. Just seven seconds. I need to play faster if I want to win this uh, this game. So I need to... No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose some time. 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 No, my God. Beat him on time. That's it. We managed to win on time. So crazy game. So crazy game, shit, man. And uh, 
Ay, 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 ay. And, uh, all right, so, one more game and we, we play uh, one minute games, all right? One more game, three minute games, and we play two more one minute games, and then we are done because I have to switch to the Spanish community. They are waiting, and uh, let's just play the Philidor. Knight f6, knight c3, e5. And uh, this, the end game is not considered to be the best option for, for white. And uh, yeah, this is, I mean, it's quite easy to play with, uh, with black. Let's just try to show some ideas. So he goes for um, f3, not, not the most aggressive move, but certainly one to be, one to consider. So bishop b4, bishop d2, and let's play knight bd7, and Long castle, just gonna go for um, a6. a6, just one of the ideas is just to go bishop d6 here, and then this king can come to e8 in case he goes for bishop g4, bishop c4, sorry, and yeah, king e8, let's, let's just play it anyway, and then b6, bishop b7. This is the, the structure I wanted to show you. Bishop b4, or I could even go uh, b5 here in this position, right? Why not? Let's just play b5 here, and then after bishop goes uh, to a2 or b3, just bishop b7 ideas, and uh, h6 is gonna come, it's gonna follow just kicking this bishop back from, from g8, and yeah, wh whenever this bishop goes back to e3, for example, let's say, then we can bring this king to e7. So this knight sometimes, uh, go to, to g3, looking for the f5 square, and um, yeah, he goes for bishop h4, and I don't want to go g5, because then this uh, square on, on, on f5 could be extremely weak, so instead, what should we do here? For example, bishop e7 is not that stupid as it looks, yeah, or king e7 even, he wants to go knight g3, but it's not actually not possible. Well, it's possible because after g5, there is knight f5 check. Knight g3, g6 looks good. So the problem is after king e7, there's knight, e, knight d5 check. So I'm not going to go for this. Instead, I'm going to maybe just bishop e7. And uh, maybe this knight can come to c5 and then to e6. All of, all of these maneuvers are possible. Okay, he goes for uh, bishop f2, and now I'm gonna play bishop c5. Normally, if you exchange this dark squares bishop, it's a good idea for black actually, because as you can see here, d4 or f4 could be weak in these end games. And yeah, let's just play c6 here. Let's just play c6, covering d5, and also he goes now rook d6, now king e7. He's not on time to double rooks on the c5. Now my idea, as I told you, just king e7, improve the position a little bit of this king. He wants to jump to f5. Let's just not allow this. And for example, play king e7. King e7, he's got bishop, uh, bishop f7. So I'm just going to play knight c5 here. And then after b4, I can always go to e6. It's not ideal, I know. Actually, I don't like that much my position anymore, but... Uh, all right, so let's play a5 now, followed by b4 could be an idea. This bishop, normally it's better placed on c8, but uh, okay, let's just play king e7, and then we can exchange a pair of rooks as well, if, if we need it, so. Yeah. Um, rook d6 and uh, king e7 we have to be extremely careful in this in this position because there are so many tricks normally now b4 is the idea if he takes on with the a pawn the a pawn then the bishop on e2 is going to be hanging so it's going to do something about that probably it's going to go for b4 here in this position but then i can just take a knight a4 even as knight takes rook takes the pawn on b4 is going to be hanging Oh, he doesn't go for this, and instead he goes for knight e3. 
the idea is that after okay the idea is that I should hurry up this is the first idea because I'm very short on time and uh, this looks, doesn't look so good so let's just play b4 here let's see what he does a takes me for a knight a2 both are the possibilities in this position then I'm gonna take on the a3 let's just take on a3 and let's play uh, knight e8 now this knight gonna be kicked, uh, kicked out from c5 so I'm just gonna bring my knight to c7 another knight to c7 go back go back go back go back go back no knight c7 then uh, knight e6 could come or even bishop c8 he goes for knight c4 wow the position looks so complicated now knight b6 now it's uh, possible to exchange every rook because f7 is not hanging so king d8 now the king is gonna come back to e7 so he goes for bishop f7 wants to take my pawn on g6 but this king is gonna come to e7 go back go back go back go back give me that to me boom and now uh, I take on f7 just uh, we are a piece up and now the craziness is start. You, can, you guys can challenge me in a one minute game and because uh, we are reaching the end of this session. So just one minute games. So knight f3, the craziness has arrived to chess 24. Knight f3 against Abraham Luna from Mexico. Que pass away, que pass away, que pass away. Enjoying some sun here, as you can see in my face. And uh, you're not there or what? You're not there. He's there. Uh, what? So I lost 10 seconds. Uh, D4. And now I'm just going to play E4 here. We are some sort of modern. Knight C3. What is this opening, man? What is this opening? Uh, knight takes E4. Bishop takes Bishop E7. Just uh, Knight F6, for example. Bishop E3. Just normal development. Queen D2. Just uh, C3. Reinforcing my position. Rook E1. And Bishop F1. I want to go knight g5, for example, in order to go with this knight to e4 here. So we got the bishop pair. This is always good news. Bishop e3, just queen c2. This bishop is going to come to d3, attacking h7. He's got to do something. He didn't do it. Bishop g6. This is going to come. The end is this close. The end is close. Queen e4 here. He's still he's, uh, saving this game. Boom, boom, boom. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Pepe is your daddy! That's it! And uh, let's play two, three more uh, one minute games and then we switch to the to the Spanish uh, section and then the, just play... I wanted to go C4 actually but another mouse leap so C3 against Lempire just gonna go for D4 now we can try to uh, transpose to some sort of... Uh, I wanted to transpose for the London system but not anymore just rookie one he, 94 and just Quincy 2 putting some pressure now uh, knight g5 is a threat so 95 here what's going on here here and bishop d2 I want to go queen d3 here to stop bishop b5 and uh, a4 for example a3 what is this man so uh, queen c2 e4 now give me that to me 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 bishop h6 and now queen d2 let's just try to create some sort of attack there uh, well, let's uh, be careful there. I just blunder upon, man. I just blunder upon. So the only choice is just, just try to give checkmate. Let's see if I don't get checkmated on the on this diagonal. So wow, 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 wow. Only choice is uh, well, there's no choice here for me. This is too bad. This is too bad, man. This is too bad. I know. Wow. This is too bad. Let's just flag him. Let's just flag him. So, uh, we are how many pawns down? I don't know, but a lot of pawns down. <laughs> we are a lot of pawns down. And uh, rook a7, stopping this skin. Stopping this skin. King f5, check, 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 check. Boom, 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 boom. Rada, da, 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 Bakum! Bakum! Bakum clean it! Pepe extracting all your blood! Da 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 and so damn lucky. That's it. That's it. And one more game. 
But there are, I don't have one minute challenges, so I'm just gonna go for uh, the Spanish section, guys. So it's been a pleasure. And. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, Alright, guys, so thanks uh, for tuning into this show. It's been a pleasure, as usual, to stay with all of you. And uh, yeah, so I hope to see you in the next Banter Blitz session. As I told you, now I'm gonna switch to Spanish so you can stay here and see the things become even more crazy. Or you can uh, follow me in the, in the next video. You can challenge me in the next video, next week, probably Banter Blitz, another Banter Blitz session. So it's been a pleasure. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care and be good. Don't drink too much if you drive. <laughs>